These jumping Asian silver carp are taking over many of our Midwestern rivers. In the 1970s, the Asian carp were brought over from China to control algae and wastewater treatment lagoons and commercial fish ponds. With the help of floods, the carp escaped. They've spread like a cancer throughout the entire Mississippi River Basin. If the Asian carp were to enter the Great Lakes, it could threaten the multi-billion dollar fishing industry. University of Missouri Associate Professor Mark Morgan has been researching ways to slow the spread of this species. Human consumption is one of the possible ways we can rid ourselves of this particular fish. So one forkful at a time is what I say. We're going to make a uh, pasta puttanesca featuring silver carp. MU executive chef Eric Cartwright develops creative Asian carp dishes for MU students. The deboning process results in a ground fish suitable for such dishes as pasta, chowder, or stew. The ground fish is not something that typically around here we work a lot with. It really cooks up just like a, uh, almost like a ground turkey does. It's pretty flavorful, not really a fishy texture. Like, if you didn't know it was fish, you probably wouldn't guess that. Italian fish. The silver carp is an inexpensive, nutritious addition to the American diet. Silver carp are midstream feeders, and so therefore it produces a much better quality of meat. The meat is a good source of protein, it's very tasty, uh, it has low levels of mercury. MU experts see economic and nutritional value in Asian carp. Their fish philosophy? Conquering carp, one mouthful at a time. In Columbia, Mark Slavitt, KRCG 13.